Fellas, today I'm going to be building these sets here without paying a dime. First up is this set here. I have to build each set using only parts that I own. This is a lot of Lego. And if anybody's able to differentiate my set from the real one, I have to tweet something horrific. So let's just give this a go, shall we? Now, if I wanted to buy this set now, it would set me back about £100. I literally just don't own this piece, so I'm going to have to improvise. Parts that I didn't own, I tried to make myself. See, pretty much the exact same. Thing. And even though I own a ton of Lego, I have no chance. But I powered through and tried to give it a go. Progress thus far isn't looking uh, too great. So I'm going to take a little break from building now and give the minifigures a go. Namely, Dogshank, who I don't own. I wanted to customize this big purse so that it could be somewhat similar to the real thing. Fellas, you already know what time it is. Oh no. <laughs> and after a bit of drawing and building a headpiece, this is looking very, very bad. Um, <laughs> so now it was on to day two. I'm going to go ahead and get the set finished. Now all I have to do is simply trick other people into thinking that I actually own the set. First sacrifice, these windows. If I could get it to roughly look like the set, then that should be good enough. Honestly, this isn't looking too bad so far. And after a bit more adjusting and detailing, and all together, this looks very, very bad. So I needed some help. I booted up Photoshop and got to work. I recolored Dogshank to be a bit more orange and added a Lego bag as well as the box in the background to make it seem a tad bit more reliable. Perfect. And I think that should be uh, pretty okay. So thus far, people seem to think that it's pretty legit. People have no idea that I didn't actually have the set. Oh god. Fellas, I think people are starting to catch on. Apparently, this doesn't look all too convincing. What do you mean? So it's time. I tweeted out the worst thing that I could possibly think oh. of. People are gonna hate me so much. Yeah, they did. On to the second set. Now with this next set, I had to ensure that people would not be able to tell it apart because I could not take another forfeit. In order to get this done, goodbye old pal. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Instructions ready, parts prepared, and a horrific tweet ready to send. Please subscribe. This set comes with around 200 pieces, so I was pretty unsure that I'd actually have all of the parts needed to build it. Thus far, I've literally got every single piece that I need. I might actually be able to do this. Usually with a Lego set, all the parts come in nice numbered bags and are easily accessible, but I had to scavenged through tens of thousands of parts to find even the smallest of pieces. And whilst I could find parts in other sets, so I'm missing this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and find out what set is in. But I didn't have another one at all. I'm screwed, fellas. I was gonna be missing an entire half of the bottom of this set. But even so, after a few hours of progress, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. But here's the graveyard of all of my old sets. Being able to find the parts that I need to finish this is gonna be a real challenge. But I'm willing to take it on. What I done thus far wasn't bad, although it was going to take some serious sacrificing. Worth it. I was putting everything on the line to ensure that this was the real deal. Finding the parts I need is beginning to get near impossible. And unless I want to dismantle every set that I own, I needed to put a plan into action. If I could make just one half of this set look convincing, I could take a photo so that the whole set looked built. This is genius. So I'm going to go ahead and try and print off some stickers. This is going to go terribly. I measured out the sizes that each sticker needed to be, scaled down an image using Photoshop, and voila. I've got the stickers printed out. I cut out each sticker carefully and used print stick to attach it to the parts, and before long, Kai's blade cycle is done on one side, but that, that doesn't matter. After taking the perfectly angled photo and slightly modifying the hue of the stickers, I think this looks pretty good. This is awesome. Younger me would be freaking out right now. There we go, it's up. Now I just have to wait. I sat for around 10 minutes and felt sick because my entire reputation was on the line. But people started to ask questions about the stickers. This was really bad. I needed to think of something quickly if I had any chance of not being spotted. I think I've had an idea. If I can just delete their comments. <sighs> that was a close one, fellas. So now it's on to the final set. This bad boy here. I want to make my own dabber. I needed to grab some plain torsos, legs, and a hairpiece. But of course, now I need to go ahead and try and print off the torso. I prepared a few different sizes for the torso, which I could then stick onto the minifigure. But in the meantime, I grabbed some material. Perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and draw Darren's trophy on it. After I finished drawing, I cut it out and attempted to colour it in. It's literally the wrong colour. But I think the printing should be done now, so... 
Um... Clearly the printing isn't gonna work. Now I'm not much of an artist, but I had to draw my own torso. Regardless of my lack of skill, I give this my best go. This is awful. And after cutting the torso and sticking it on, I pieced Darth together and honestly, I actually don't think these turned out too bad. So now we've got to take the perfect picture and go ahead and upload it. Now we sit back and wait. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not too confident about this one. Now not a lot of people seem to be catching on, which is very surprising. But one or two people have been a bit skeptical. So for that reason, here we go then. Shima is better than Ninjago, which is in his flop era. So that's fun. But the question is, was I actually able to fool people into thinking that I owned this set? Well, surprisingly, actually quite a few people trusted that I had these sets. They literally just talked about how they also wanted to get the set as well, without really paying any attention to the image. This Dareth, for example, is now going to sit on my top shelf as a prized possession. What a guy. Tiger Widow Island didn't really go particularly well, so I don't really hate to say that it's getting destroyed. Also, this happened, and of course, the blade cycle. Great set, and I actually kind of now want to get the real thing. People are trying to cancel me now, so was this worth it? No, probably not, but <laughs> also I now have to live with this thing in my house, which is just horrifying, so please, please, please subscribe. Do it for the big guy, not me. Just subscribe. <laughs>